the Weinstein thing is going to go on forever and ever. I mean, it's just, I mean, there's, there's new stuff coming out. There was new stuff coming out today about it. Uh, I so. just read, I just read that he's acting up in rehab. He's not actually taking it seriously. Um, at one point, uh, when he had to speak, when it was his turn to speak, he, yeah. uh, gave a speech about how it's all a conspiracy against him. That he didn't do what he said. Oh, of course. Then, of course there is. Of course. When somebody, uh, somebody else was starting to go, he fell asleep and he, and he woke up with his, yeah. because his cell phone rang. Yeah. Cell phones are banned. They're not supposed to have them. So the cell phone rings, he jumps up, picks up the phone, answers the phone and runs out of the room. What, what's his ringer? Big butts? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fucking. I, I, I mean, that's, that's horrible. I'm, I, I, you know, the guy's there for one reason and one reason only, and he can't take it seriously. I mean, that's just that's well because you know, come on, the, the, it it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Matter? You know why it doesn't matter? Because he could be the scum of the earth, right? And this is why it's all bullshit. Now, and and I do have some stuff that I'm going to go over too. That you know that you know like the serious on the serious side because you know I got a right, family, right. No, I got sisters. You know, nobody should have to go. That's through. exactly it, man. But on the other side of that, though, right? This guy's rich, rich as shit. He could, okay, right. they, so they took him, kicked him off the company. He's still rich. He didn't lose his assets. He's still right, rich. right. No, no, absolutely. And 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 uh, it was just one point. You, you 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 read about the contract, right? No, it's written. It, it, it's the most ludicrous contract ever written. It's actually written what, in it, his contract that, that it's actually molest people. That that it's what? That he can molest people. That basically he can as, as long as he pays he pays the company back for the damage that he's caused, um, he can he can get away with it. Like like how is that not you know how is that not known? <laughs> exactly how is that even allowed? <laughs> and why didn't I think of it? No, <laughs> no, no, but you know it's just crazy. It's absolutely. Wouldn't insane. you have to file that? Wouldn't you have to file that like corporate would, paper? You would think you would think lawyers went over that and said, "Yeah, this is well, okay." Well, that's the wrong example to use because yeah, no, shit. yeah, no, I know, I got, a, I got a couple in my family, yeah. but uh, but <laughs> they the care. Is, I think as, he could be as sloppy and nasty. He could be as despicable a human being as there is. He's rich. Yeah, there are going to be twenty-two-year-old <clears throat> smoking hot women falling at his feet anyway. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. Because he's filthy fucking. Because he's filthy and, rich. Yeah. You know, and then, but then, you know, and if I say that and people jump all over you, oh, you, you know, like, whatever the fuck you're going to say it is, you know, me chauvinist or whatever, you know, they're calling him now. Yeah. You know, and, and <laughs> you know. He, he's fat as fuck, too. I mean, that's, there's, there's nothing attractive yeah. about the man. It's got to be his, well, his money that he's, it's the it. power and the money and the power. So, yeah. Of course. So, of course, he can laugh about it because it doesn't make a difference. So you, okay, so you take yeah. his company. He doesn't have to work anymore. One, he still has connections, so he's still going to yeah. do stuff behind the scenes and get back to our money because that's how that comp that's how that business works. You exactly. Know, gracing, you know. You know what I mean? You're always gracing the wheel, so he's going to get money out of side deals and everything. And the sad and thing is, company. and the sad thing is, he's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, he's oh, just yeah, the yeah. he. There's that the whole that whole industry is fucked. David Blaine is uh, being investigated for rape now. The, you know, the magician dude. Of course, the model. Of it, course, it, coming, out, coming out of the woodworks. But like, you know, we were discussing it earlier. How uh, what's his face? Uh, Kevin Smith. That was all. I was all sick and everything. But there's no way. Affleck was. Affleck knew. Is it? Like, yeah. Told Affleck. Yeah, you know, but even yeah. you know, so, but Affleck knew, and Affleck is a really good friend of Kevin Smith's. They basically absolutely to start together. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. He had to have known. I mean, and and he if had to and if he didn't know, I mean, it's probably because he was in some sort of drug haze from from the nineties. But I'm pretty sure he knew. He had he to had have to. known. Somewhere, so. somebody said something. Yeah, and um, yeah. and even Quentin Tarantino, because Quentin Tarantino and him were like like. Like best friends, right? You right, know, right. All of Quentin Tarantino's big movies were produced by Weinstein, right? And he 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 said today, I knew, I knew more, I knew enough to say something. Yeah, and I didn't do anything. Yeah, and he said, you know what? You all knew too. He said everyone knew. If you said you didn't know, you're full of it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I believe it. I believe it. And, and the funny thing is, is in a matter of three days, Harvey Weinstein went from uh, being the, the I, I think there was like a, I think somebody counted this, um, that he was at the Academy Awards, he was thanked more than God. They, these idiots thanked Harvey Weinstein on stage more than thanking God. I gotta get a I mean, it's just, yeah, it, it's yeah. it's mind boggling to me. I yeah, mean, that's there's gotta be there's gotta be so, some presentation of uh, somebody had to have already chopped it up on YouTube and put it up. I gotta see that. I'm sure, yeah, but that that's that's the thing that I heard that 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 people actually counted how many times he was he was thanked at the Academy Awards, and it was an insane amount. And um, and he was, you know, this is this guy who's all powerful. You know, uh, you know, he's got more more money than anybody. Who has got all these connections, and yet in a matter of three days, because of basically because of one story that turned into many, because people spoke out, he was destroyed. He was destroyed oh. in a matter of three days. And just, but just to think, think about how long ago this this could have been. Uh, this could have been nipped in the butt. You know, um, there was an article today that said 40, 40 huge stars or 40 big stars were right. at, at least harassed by the guy not not molested of course of course but this is where this is where um this is where this gets a little bit fucked up and you know the comedy shtick if you call it that i think this is awesome i mean to think that somebody would have the just like i mean the balls right to to get away with something like this for for like three decades is is unbelievable it's like well, uh, I I got to read the thing. I, I don't know how true this is. This could be bullshit, but they, they just had right. uh, Jessica Jessica Chastain, um, yeah, the redhead from and and you know, see, this is where this is where though it's also not right because it also goes against our nature. Because I was going to say Jessica Chastain, you know that hot redhead, you know, was in in the hell. My first right, the hell. That she, but my first description is that she's hot. It's an industry that's that's about. Being, uh, you know, I'm sure there's there, the acting chops have something to do with it. it has a lot to do with it, but it, it, it's based on people looking good. Well, it always has. That's what that's what I, this is. I, it's oh, it always has been, and it always will be. So well, that's it's that's that's the reaction they want you to have. And and that's for Jessica where, Chastain. So, so a lot of it is hypocritical too, because um, they know what's going on. They know the deal. They know what why they're getting the job. Yeah. You don't complain about it when yeah, you yeah. get the job. Yeah, I mean, don't 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 get me wrong. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of uh, you know beautiful women who don't have the acting chops and therefore don't get the you know the you know the great career in Hollywood or whatever. There has to be something. There has to be some sort of I... skill involved. But there's also who you know and what you oh, did with that person that you know. So yeah. yeah. No, let's and that's the thing. The truth of the matter is, that this is where like everybody's outraged. But this is the way the world. This is the way people are. This is the way people have always been. So you get outraged about people doing what people do. Yeah. At the same time, you know, society does teach the hottest women to use their body to get what they want. They they do. And you know, and if somebody doesn't have the ability to pay for the things that you want, they're no good. Right. So like the way shit is built, okay. you glorify a guy like Harvey Weinstein. Right. You, you thank him more than God, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. You thank him more than God. You glorify yeah. somebody like you glorify the women that you know are these cases involved and why? Because they're hot. Right. You know? And because because they most of them would be especially the people that he's molesting. He wasn't molesting Kathy Bates. That wasn't gonna happen. No. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. He was he was uh apparently raping Rose McGowan. When she was first starting out, you know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey Feldman shit, where they're all pedophiles too. That's the see, and he said that years ago, and and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and Barbara and Walters, Barbara him. Walters was was sh you know shutting him down, you know, telling him to stop that he's vilifying an entire industry. Well, yeah, you know, uh, you know, if somebody has the has, has the balls to speak out about something like that. Shouldn't you look into it? You know, like, unless you're unless you know somebody that it, it it'll affect. So you start to wonder. Okay, well, 
did she know something too? And who you know, is she protecting? You know, I don't know what that's all about. You know, I'm wondering. Oh, but, of course. Well, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. Yeah, you know, um, yeah. you know. Come on, how long has she been in the business? But that's where that's where I'm. I'm on so many levels. This is so crazy on so many levels because I want to yeah. see how far the tentacles go because like who's involved how many people have known because louis ck is another one who's who's under investigation for for you know, locking with people in the room to jerk off in front of we talked about it on the show like a couple yeah. weeks ago it was in the yeah inquiry. yeah yeah you know it was in yeah. the inquiry as if it was bullshit but yeah, now yeah it's real and yeah. and that right there because i was in the inquiry as it was you know and everybody right. painted this bullshit except they were right, right. they were right, right. They were every were now real. Every now and then, the National Enquirer is correct about certain things. I mean, they they, they basically throw shit at the wall, and every now and then, something's gonna stick. But when it you sticks, know? it's so, crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. When they yeah. when when it sticks, they have some sort of legitimacy that they can hang on to keep them going. You know. Yeah. Now, I I would really I would really like to see all the chicks that were involved, all the women that that this happened to, um, which I, and I have something to read about that too. This and, and you, it'll put it in perspective. Um, although I was gonna lead, I was gonna, I was gonna lead with this. I was gonna lead with this line, right? Okay. On, where, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Uh, do you remember the movie PCU? Years ago, it sounds, it sounds sounds familiar, but I, I can't quite place it. It came out PCU? with David Spade and uh, Jeremy Piven was the star of it. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, they're on college. And uh, well, it, it the, he David Spade plays the leader of like the rich, like the Republican group on the <clears throat> on this ultra liberal college campus. Right, right, right. And uh, he tells a kid, "You can't even coerce a woman into having sex with you without being brought up on charges anymore." Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that that about sums it up, doesn't it? That, that really about sums it up. But uh, here, this is, this is the way, the, but uh, but although that movie, you got to check it out. And I haven't seen if it, if it's a Weinstein Company movie. Um, uh, Miramax at the time would have been. Oh, uh, yeah, Miramax. Been Miramax, at the time. Miramax is definitely Weinstein. It's definitely yeah. Well, Weinstein. he's responsible. For how many yeah. people? How many people? You know. Yeah. Um, but the uh, what the fuck was I talking about? I'm a little. Correct too. So I lose my train of thought real quick. I don't want to it somewhere, God knows where. So you might have to draw me back in. <laughs> no, no, no problem, no problem. But uh, but yeah, you're talking about PCU and how you know that movie it, is very like prophetic. Like it, like that came out in '94. And if you right, watch that, right. and and the stuff that goes on in that movie, and you think about what's going on right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's you know, but. Uh, yeah, but listen to this. This is from the director of uh, uh, the Guardian of the Galaxy movies, uh, James Gunn. Okay. Right. And this is this is a, a, just a little clip from what he wrote. How was that? Uh, he said, endless incidents. Of the, he was hanging out with a couple of women that he knows at a party, right? Mm -hmm. And they just started disgusting the, because of the Weinstein stuff, the times they were harassed or molested, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Endless incidents of these women being subject to the repeatedly unwanted sexual advances of men, ranging from your everyday entitled Hollywood scum buckets douchebag to attempted rape. To them, this conversation was casual. They've gotten used to they've gotten used to sexual harassment being a part of their everyday lives, but to me, it was horrifying. So, he, like he's saying that he like the women that he knows in Hollywood are so used to getting harassed, and that, like that's the world they live in. They all it, that happens right. to all of them all the time. They have so right. many stories, and he says right, it's not right. just uh, you know they, they have so many stories that it's just crazy. But at any rate, I mean, when you have somebody who who's trying to get into the business and they're already vulnerable to begin with, and have been through you know uh, you know a bunch of shit growing up, um, that's that's the kind of prey that somebody like Weinstein would be. Uh, you know what's funny about know. that? It, it's it's exactly the same thing they do to get the, the same girls into porn. Um, but at least yeah, porn, at least in porn they're honest. About it. They're sleazy, but they're honest. Yeah, about it. they're honest about it. And some of them actually come out fine. <laughs> they <laughs> come know. out with like they come out with like uh, business savvy. You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? So 
well, it's 1500 if you hit me in the ass. Uh, right. No, exactly. They're their own negotiators, right? Yeah. 1200 <laughs> if you let me pop you in my mouth after. They, they, they right. Did. They were and then they do it, right? Yeah, I was watching. You know? They're good sports, you know? <laughs> I was watching. It wasn't Katie Morgan's show, but it was a show that Katie Morgan was on, and she said, "Oh yeah, we arranged." And they're talking about the business part of it, and they are talking about how they how they arranged, right, right, it. right. Yeah. And she's like, uh, "Oh, and he just slipped it in my butt." He just, just slipped like that. it in. He just just like that, just slipped it in. Like, oh shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it fits. Oh my god! But uh, that's so that's like, hilarious. Right, I mean, is that how is that how it happened? Harvey Weinstein just kind of slipped. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you know, there, there was a, I think I was telling you earlier about the story about um, uh, Angie Everhart, who was uh, um, you know I don't know if you remember her, but she was. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I like looked a, her up today. Model to, to and everything. Myself. Yeah, exactly. And um, <clears throat> there's a story about her. She was jet lagged, and she went to a party, and she decided to to take a nap at the party on a, it was on a boat. So she goes to her room, she, and, and she's uh, taking a nap. She wakes up to Harvey Weinstein masturbating over her. And, uh, and then, and then, uh, you know, she wakes up, she's horrified and he, and he basically tells her not to say anything. And she said everything she said, she told everybody at the party and everybody's like, well, yeah, that's just Harvey, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. just Harvey. What year is that? What, what year um, that I have, I have no idea what year it was, but I'm sure I mean, it's when she, when she was active, you know, in movies. So it, it must have been somewhere around the mid '90s or something like that. Somewhere around the mid '90s, yeah. So sure. that's when she was she was pretty relevant. You know, she was. You know, I would I would guess it's around there. Yeah, I, it, because like the closer you get to the '70s and the '80s, I mean, come on, like how many movies in the '80s were the whole movie was just a bunch of chicks? Showing the tits. Oh yeah, in the eighties, forget it. Yeah, I mean that's Absolutely. like what, that's what half of the movies were doing was you know objectifying women. You want? I mean, are you kidding me? Half those women they wanted to be in the flick. They were they were yeah. snorting coke off a of dude's balls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's that old joke that like uh, you know they're they're in the they're all in the shower in in college. They're all you know whatever sorority school college movie they're in, and they're all taking showers together and the whole thing. How many movies? How many movies are all the ladies taking showers together? Yeah. All the time. I mean, all the time. Has that. Yeah. I think uh, Private School, right? Private you know, Benjamin. there's an old movie but with Phoebe although, Cates. Although Private Benjamin, they probably do shower together in the army. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. That's and, that's and, legit. And they, were, <laughs> and they weren't there for the sexy. None of them were there for the sexy. Right. Right. No, absolutely. They were all more like G.I. Jane or something, right? See, so, right, now, see, right now, I don't know if we're being sexist or not right now. We might be. I don't give a shit. I mean, we to be honest, because you know why? Because everything nowadays is sexist. Everything is ha every single thing that's done that people do has an IST at the end of it. Everything is something ist or something, um, uh, you know, phobic at the end of each word. They it's have, ridiculous. It is absolutely they ridiculous. Sayings. They have yeah. sayings with like um, isms. Right, isms. Uh, I, I and I forget what the yeah, saying is. Ism, it's yeah. a dumb saying um, because it was a dumb saying. But they yeah. basically they make up sayings that justify their beliefs. And oh yeah, they, and because they have a clever slogan that tricks that that they, they oh yeah that's a clever slogan <laughs> that that sounds nice. Mm -hmm. I like the rig of that. I mean, mansplaining. Have you heard that one? Mansplaining. It, it's it's when a guy explains something to a woman, but it's 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 obviously so. Uh, apparent, uh, according to the to the, I guess to the person who made it up, it's so sexist that it should never be done. No man should ever explain anything to a woman because that's mansplaining. So um, stuff like that, made up shit, made up shit. And with mansplaining came white splaining. Oh well, that's of course, of course. You know? there was so a, I don't know. I, see, this is why I try not to get into it because, like, you know. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that, and it's gotten to such a such a point that it's lost its legitimacy because it's so overdone. You know, it's like everything is 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 a, a particular uh, of uh, is, is something to be offended about. You know, See, and this is so, this where though this where now um, I it's going to be hard for us because because of that because of that because you know um, comedy 
is about poking whole fun at you know your holes it's about that it's about laughing at yeah things those things you know it's about owning it and laughing about it you know and and you know like mel brooks came out a couple weeks ago like he was like what the fuck you know well this pc is killing comedy you can't even be funny anymore yeah yeah comedians can't do colleges anymore because they're gonna get protested Right, just ridiculous. College is is when exact is the exact time to be doing that shit. It's you know? true. Be dumb when you're in college, right? Yeah. Um, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I I I don't want to be on that ride. I don't want to be on the offensive train. I don't want to talk about offensive stuff. I want to, you know now making fun of things, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. that for making fun of everything. Yeah. But like. Fuck, man, I'm tired of this shit. Yeah, that's when you got to start to wonder, that you know, am I being taken advantage of? You know, am I being pushed into believing something that really isn't? Well, that you know, takes people to have a brain in their head, and unfortunately, most people don't. That's uh, just it. That's just it. I mean, like the fact that you can't even say that reality, like, uh, you know, like, like the big push education. Issue, but most people aren't that smart. Most people need a job where you can turn a screw and make a living doing it. That's no, know, Absolutely. You know, Absolutely, so, and they're dumb as rocks, and that's why things like uh, I don't know, you name it. There's so many things out there that are terrible, like Jersey Shore. Well, that's how the shows. Oh my god, popular because people are dumb. Yeah, they yeah. think that's good. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. They think the you know Although, Kardashians or whatever that that's you know something to aspire to. You know, well, that, see that is, that's the thing to aspire. Although I can't say that we're not exactly trying to aspire to that either. But I'm only doing this to try to. You know, sell some books. I like right. books. Right. Well, yeah. you know, heaven forbid people read anymore, you know? So, well, you're asking for much. Yeah. Unfortunately, I am asking for a lot, you know? Yeah. You know, I, I, I would be, I would happy, I would settle for uh, people actually understanding the words that they do read. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, you know, because there's so many, I, I, what I, I find that people will send me an article to prove a point send me something and I, when I read it and and it says the opposite right it says the opposite of what they think it yeah. says because they read the headline or something and they really read right. one part of it it's right like, this doesn't say what you think right. I do not think this means what you think it means. <laughs> exactly exactly here's the thing here's and this is clear this is this is something that it's the simple like like any think tank or remember think tanks think tanks what do think tanks do think tanks get paid to prove a specific point right Right. You could easily do that by omitting the information that shows you're wrong. That's that's absolutely right. And that's what they get paid for. Right. Like just like economists. Economists get paid to make up a, a random formula to prove that they're right. Except that if a bee farts in fucking Mexico, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. It's complicated. That's Occam's razor. Because you have to have you know, all threes have to go against Occam's razor. I don't care if they're trying to disprove it because the more complicated, it's just like a lie. The more complicated things get, if even one variable is off, you're fucking wrong. Right. right. If it's two steps, <clears throat> those same two steps, chances are going to be right all the time. Right. Got something, though. I'm going to point out to something in the difference between you and I and most of the rest of the world. We right now are having a conversation about a teacher we had 20 years ago and laughing about it. Right. And we still remember the teacher fondly, too, because I love yes. that. Right. No, he was awesome. So, um, so there is a difference because that's a thinking person thing to do. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, I, fi- I had a point, but I forget what it was. So whatever. Fuck. Well, you were know, talking about school and, and, and oh, factory yeah, yeah, settings yeah. and everything. Right. Um, <clears throat> I mean, look, I, I, I should have graduated high school in two years. I graduated in three years instead, but I should have graduated high school in two years. Right, Maybe, right. You, know, you couldn't do it because every button in the seat gets them a certain amount of money. So, like my senior year, I had three classes, and one of them was gym. You know, it was nonsense. Right. Um, I had I had a seventy five average because I was a regular student because um, I didn't do any work and got hundreds on every test I took. Right. And had to pass me because I mean I got an eighty four in the Spanish regions, and I, you know how I can't speak a word of Spanish. <laughs> you ask me the simplest thing in Spanish, I have no idea what you're talking about. I got eighty four <laughs> Spanish regions. Nice. Yeah, very because, nice. Because it, I mean, they all have patterns. If you figure out the pattern, you got you know you can pass the test. No, of course, of, of course. course, yeah. You know? And life is that way too. If you figure out the pattern, you pass the test. That's that's what life is. No, absolutely. 
but you just don't have, you have to know how to take the test. Yeah, exactly. We don't teach people to, to take tests. We don't teach people about what the real world actually is. We teach them fucking algebra and geometry. And that's yeah, great. Yeah. If you're going to be an engineer, yeah, yeah. it's great. If you're going to be sure. in certain sciences, yeah, it doesn't really now that most teachers probably don't even know that because if you're an English teacher, you have no need to know geometry. Yeah. You're never going to use it again in your life. But as far as math, you want to teach a kid how to balance a fucking checkbook so that they don't go in debt when they're, when they're older. Exactly. Big people can't like, like my job. One of the things I do is basically teaching them basic tips of how not to spend more money than you make. Like, I don't understand what's so difficult. You make a hundred dollars a week. You can't spend hundred and eight dollars a week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like how the government works is how it was something everybody should know. But no, but people think you impeach the president and they get who they want. They get to pick somebody. Right. Right. And right. And, and and you read the things people say. This this is what they believe. So it's right. It's it's you know? it's it's really sad that they think that. Changing one thing, changing a, a, a something in government is all of a sudden going to fix everything. Well, you know, instead of looking, it's, instead of looking within and saying, "What can I do about the situation that I created?" Right. That I what need am, to get what out. What am I doing? For every thousand yeah. men hacking at the leaves of evil, there's but one strike in the root. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know, and everybody wants to do that. They want to push you off the blame on you. Like, like one thing. It's funny. I maybe look at this in because this this is what I've been thinking about. Uh, I am trying to actively take a particular stance that whatever my position is, I'm half wrong. You're half because wrong. I'm half wrong, right? Because there is there's no such thing. I mean, they you even in a car accident, you're only even when you had no fault in it, you're still fifteen percent wrong. You look at the books, that's what they do. You're still right, right. Wrong you there's the it. no fault insurance, right? Ex exactly because you were yeah. there. At least it was partially your partially your fault. Right. You shouldn't have parked there. You shouldn't have <laughs> exactly. You shouldn't have been there. What the you hell were you doing there? Okay. You know right. <laughs> You were born. Come on. But but the truth is though is that is that I mean, what is reality? Reality for you, my reality, your reality aren't the same reality. Even when, even when we think the same and we're sitting next to each other, we still don't see it the same right. way. No. So, like, you know, I'm willing to, and, you know, and like, whatever you want to talk about. And right now, everything's so polarized that one side only takes one fact and the other side only takes the other fact. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't yeah. even agree on each other's fact. No. But if you just took your fact and my fact and we put our facts together. Yeah. God, now we have a truth, don't we? Uh, you got an equation <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. that might solve something, right? Right, but but at least so. you have something to work. At least if it was algebra, well, see, you use algebra. Right, right, right. <laughs> I got to find out what fucking X is, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Once you put X in there, it gets all confusing, right? Fuckers, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask anybody that. That you can't ask anybody and, to be responsible for anything. That's, but that's you know, heaven forbid. Heaven forbid. Is, but you know, I don't know. I, I mean, I, it, yeah, go ahead. I can't really, I can't really say anything though because uh, I don't want to be responsible for anything either. I don't. <laughs> yep, yeah, kids now. Yeah. Go in your room. Get out of here. <laughs> Go to your room. Go to your room. Get out of here. Want, want my room. asshole. But uh, my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you're showing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? Though? The funniest thing about that, right? Admit it. I'm a hot ever dick. You know, like like somebody says something that catches me the wrong way, I'm gonna blow up and start yelling at them. That's what I do. Right? Everybody expects it. Everybody knows it's coming. <laughs> that's that's what right, I do. Right? right? And like. The one time, the greatest, like the, the clip that we use the most from my assholeness, right, is the one time I am the one who's calm and not a hothead, and somebody jumps right. out screaming, and I'm just right, like, right, right, cool. You, know, like, <laughs> you were in a zen. You were in a exactly. zen moment at the time. You know that exactly. You know, other, otherwise, all hell would have broken loose. It, it's true. <clears throat> it's true. I would have been on the news for uh, something that wouldn't be good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be visiting you at like uh, you know some jail cell in Nassau. If they allow visitors, 
<laughs> I'd be slipping you the cake with the file in it, right? You know, but yeah. I wonder if that ever actually worked. Like, how big? Think about that. How one? I mean, how big would the cake have to be? But how big would the lock have to be that you're gonna file in there? No, no, yeah, exactly. I mean, but you know, I mean, come to think of it, if you think, if you really think about it, the fact that that's that's an that's like a known thing. The fact that that's like even a saying that we have means that it must have worked at one point. It it's must true. have been must have been in the 1800s or whatever it was, but it had to have worked. It's true because it's, it's a true. thing that we've that we've all heard that we've all heard that. It's like when you so. when you use the credit card, you stick the credit card in between the door to get the you know to get in between that the, the ledge. You know the, the little, the little <laughs> thing that sticks it, you pry that open. You just pop the door open. Right. Yeah. No. I, I've I've done it. I've done it. Oh, yeah. 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 I've done like, it. <laughs> it. It's literally exactly the same. It's like it's a bigger lock. Right. <laughs> and, a, and, a bigger, and a bigger butter knife. Right, right, right. And, and well, you know, I mean, you know stories about El Chapo, right? I mean, the guy actually escaped, you know? He actually with, dug his way with out with, uh, I, I, he, he used something. He used something and he filed his way out, you know? So we, should be, we should be teaching about that guy. You know? <laughs> you know, because that's persistence you know that it's important. persistence and consistence so right uh, yeah like oh god <laughs> <laughs> i think that's what i think that i'm pretty consistent and that's right. the thing that drives me nuts is that people just aren't even consistent anymore at least i mean if you're gonna be an asshole right and um uh, mike rossi and i talk about this a lot if look we're all assholes everyone's an asshole if you don't right, think right. you're an asshole, you're the biggest asshole. Because that, if you don't think you're an asshole, nobody likes you. <laughs> right, right. But like, we're all assholes. I mean, be a right asshole. Be you know. But it's all about finding the right assholes. Right, Only right. hang around people that are the same kind of asshole that you are, and you'll be all right. It sound like wise words. Or accept people for the asshole that they are. That's been my my uh, general outlook on life. You know, I it's like, oh, you're that kind of asshole. Okay, well, personally, <laughs> and, and I guess this is only convenient because I am an asshole, uh, and I know it. Um, I don't so much take pride in it as much as I accept it. Although at one time I probably did take pride in it. Um, <laughs> I try, I try to live by the, my first rule: try not to be a bigger asshole than you have to be. Yes, I, tr I I try to do that. I, it doesn't mean I'm successful. I just try. Yes, yes, yes. But I think if at least we all did that, I mean that's that's a simple rule. I think. Yes. Well, that, you know that's that goes along with uh, what we were talking about earlier about balancing the budget and how you you make a hundred bucks, right. you can't spend a hundred and eight. Yeah. So you don't want to be the bigger. You don't want to def be be in a deficit of assholeness. It's true. You know. It's true. So you know if you if you if you've been, if you're more of an asshole than people are willing to take, and and you yourself are willing to take, then you've ex then you've crossed that line of scrimmage, you know. Hey, so, I mean, there's yeah. a cultural component there because depending on where you are, they have a different tolerance level for assholes. Yes. Yes. You absolutely. Know? Yes. And, and I guess, and I guess, it's not just. <clears throat> it's kind of like, uh, kind of like a soundboard because there are different levels of assholes, different areas you could be an asshole in. And what area you are in that, you know, it take, it, it's a delicate balance. Yeah. No, I mean, absolutely. It's, it's like a system. It, it, it really is. It is. It is because, you know, I mean, you know, there's different, there's different, um, you know, uh, you know, s s rates of uh, salaries and pay rates that you get us to, per neighborhood that you're in. Well, you know, there's also, you know, the the rate of asshole that you can be in that particular it's town true. or neighborhood that you're in. It's so, true. like in a town of assholes, you can get away with bigger. Like like in New York, I don't notice what an asshole I am because it's supposedly a town. Right, because it's, it's everywhere. Right, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Right. But then yeah. you know, when I went to Oklahoma, everybody looked at me. Like, they were. I would walk into a room. People were like, because like. <laughs> And I can only imagine. This is like like I was nineteen, and right, you know right. how I am. Uh, you know how I am. No, no, absolutely. What I am, you know. Uh, 
God is my co-pilot. Exactly. <laughs> I, can <only> imagine, <laughs> I can only imagine what that guy walking into a room in Oklahoma would have been like to them. Absolutely. Yeah. What the yeah, fuck yeah. is this? You know, they wouldn't have known. What the fuck is that? They wouldn't know to do. Right, right, right. Which is scary. I mean, to tie it all back to Harvey Weinstein for a second. For Harvey Weinstein to be able to fit in L.A., what does that say about L.A.? Well, I mean, uh, that he can great. live in L.A. for 30 years and and have that kind of um, effect yeah, on people and, and, and have people go, hey, you know, hey, well, we're going to thank him more than God. It's so, true. right. It's, it's right. Exactly. We're going to thank him more than God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What does that say about L.A., about and Hollywood? The, and the fact that they did that while they <clears throat> all knew what was going on, they all knew what was going on and they still Thank you more than God. It's what it's mind boggling. It is wonder, absolutely mind boggling. How many of them were women? How many women thanked him more than God? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons, a, tons. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, and how many of them willingly did something to get there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, and you know, it, the, the, I'm sorry. Go ahead. There are there are people that did it, and they enjoyed doing it. No, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. they have problems too, you know. Or, or, you know, they just, or they just don't think about taking a shot in the mouth. Is is that a big well, deal? They, you know, they what think it's better work. What happens when a predator meets a predator? You know, I mean, do they just battle it out to see who's the bigger predator, or do they just kind of generally you know, in nature they have a pissing contest, and right. um, and the bigger one will usually win the ground. The smaller one in nature. I mean, but in nature, though, if you can't fit something in your mouth, you don't fuck with it. <laughs> that, that he grew up in the 60s and 70s, right? And then, and the, it, it was like a different mindset. So um, something he, also, he said something along those lines, right? He also said something about like like Hollywood, like when he got there in, in I don't know, the 80s or whatever the fuck, fuck it was, that... Um, that the old timers then would use tell him, oh yeah, it's not like it used to be like like in the sixties and seventies, it was fucking crazy. But then if you if you there are stories of with like Frank Sinatra telling with the rat pack with what they used to do with like people like Julie Garland. I heard that story. I heard that story right. with the pills and everything and like yeah. uh you gotta you gotta do this to me or that to me to you know get the get your pills that you, cause she was she was addicted to pills, right? Yep. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, and this is this is you know this is these are this is the Rat Pack. Yeah, and you know this is this yeah. is Mandy on on the on this is when I was in college. There's this chick, Mandy. I, I don't know whatever her name was, and uh, yeah, she would basically if there was a party, she'd be the last chick there, and there'd be room for dudes or wrecked, and she'd be sitting on the floor like mm -hmm. like waiting for which one would take her in the back. Oh my gosh! Yeah, 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 and uh, <clears throat> that says something about her upbringing, you know. Um, you know, a lot of it has to be, has to be how she grew up, what, what happened to her when she, when she grew up, you know, maybe what the parenting was like, um, you know, maybe some traumatizing experiences or something like that, but you don't just do that out of thin air because you just want to be wild. There's some, there's some backstory to that, you know? Now, now, backstory to how we got into this is I, I don't even remember how it happened. So I had a point somewhere about this chick, and otherwise, why would I think about it? Um, I think it had to do with referencing somebody slutty. That that's what I think of when you're referencing somebody slutty, but I don't recall. So when we listen to this on the playback, it's going to be wacky because like I'm having conversations and then like forgetting what I was talking about. In this case, in the in you know in the 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 Weinstein uh, uh, topic. You, you can't help but to have to point out certain hypocrisies that are going on. You know, that's oh, the yeah. thing. So that, 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 ha that has to be brought up because you can't tear those two magnets apart, you know, well, between this topic and, and that situation. So that's what we were, we were I, I was going to get into it before. And we, you know, if we had one of our, we just went off into a tangent. Um, but it's what, what I find so interesting about this is where it all leads to because this is going to be. I want to see everybody that was involved, everybody knew. I want to yeah. see. I want to see other people that have that have done it. I want to see who else has done it. Yeah. Who else is you know? All, yeah. all of a sudden, you know, the people are coming out. This guy attacked me. No, that guy attacked me. Women yeah. are on the on the lists. Pedophiles. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. I want to, I want to see because this is a far reaching thing and it involves not just, yeah. you know, like actors and actresses it involves studio heads it involves other celebrities, musicians and all that stuff. You know, they're involved. In it's a shit. Come on. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, it's interconnected. It you all know? is. So then you have the, the idea of this, um, where are your, where's your moral high ground? Where is your where is your moral argument? Where has it been for this the inter, the eternity that this has been the case? Yeah. So you go and get on to people about how they treat you know whoever, right? But you don't say it to your boss, do you? Right, right, exactly. I mean, you know, think about. I mean, you know, Meryl Streep didn't said she didn't know anything about this, right? Bullshit. 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 Right. Exactly. Bullshit. Exactly. She knew. She didn't say anything. She didn't want to lose a job, whatever, what, for whatever reason. But she knew she she didn't want to be the only one. Who know who knows why these things happen? But she knew. And furthermore, uh, there was a, a, a an Academy Awards um, show where, uh, like, I mean, this was a, a you know maybe fifteen years ago, fourteen, fifteen years ago, where Roman Polanski got an award. Roman Polanski. They still love. Him. Yeah, they still love. Him. And they. And she stood up and gave him a standing ovation. He wasn't there, obviously, because they would have arrested him because right. he, he can't come back to the U.S. But they accepted an award on his behalf. Yeah, for, I can't, is okay. Because, yeah, so, and she stood up and she applauded. So how is this any different? Yeah, it's, it's, is, I mean, am I missing something? Or is this, is this different somehow? I, 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 I don't know. I don't think it is point where you're talking about kinkos is the time it's time to say goodnight <laughs> i bid you adieu unless harvey weinstein was molesting somebody there <laughs> right then what would we be doing calling play by play or something in hollywood do you have to does the kinkos guy get the finger you if you to get the furniture delivered i think eventually it goes gets back it gets down to the kinkos guy you know ma'am i don't know how far down it would have to go but ma'am I understand that you're a famous actress, but here, the way we do things, if you want me to take this piece of equipment off the truck and bring it upstairs, <laughs> I can bang it. Hey, listen, we're all socialists here. We, uh, you know, we're all the same. So we take care of each other. So, so take, take care of the Kinko's guy. Take, <laughs> take, take care of the Kinko's guy. <laughs>